big idea around Live at Live is to pull together really worship and justice. We believe that the two things are inseparably linked, that you can't just spend time worshipping God, singing about Him, enjoying His presence, unless you also share in something of God's heart for the poor, for the widow, for the orphan. And uh, for me personally, this place, Live Village, um, captures that so beautifully. Just being here and the vision of uh, Titch and Joan to see uh, vulnerable children being rescued, being restored, uh, but also being raised up to be the leaders that we believe God is calling them to be. It kind of just felt so exciting to come to a place like this and have an amazing evening of worship. And I remember when I was uh, 19 years old, I came and I spent a year in Durban um, and South Africa just totally got under my skin. It was such a profound and a special year in my life where I discovered so much of who I am. Fast forward 20 years now to be here um, leading worship with Worship Central, this movement to train and equip worship leaders with Live Village, amazing uh, place of restoring life to so many uh, people and to bring those creativity, justice, worship together feels like a really significant moment and uh, particularly in the week that South Africa has seen with so much political turmoil you realise actually the only hope is Jesus and so here we are gathering together to seek him. I was just reading in a psalm where it's all about you know nations rising up against each other, war and then there's this moment where it says be still and know that I am God. We believe God fills us with his Holy Spirit and he takes the gifts he's put in our hearts and he multiplies them to produce and do something phenomenal. So that's what God, I believe, is going to do with each and every one of you, with your singing, with your dancing, with everything that you are. And uh, I'd love us just to pray for those who are here, that they meet with Jesus and they're encouraged and lives are changed. So Worship Central was an idea back in 2006 to see how we could train and equip worship leaders. It started in London in the UK and we gathered leaders, we began hanging out, trying to encourage one another, believing that if the church was alive in worship then the world would look very different. There's an old Archbishop of Canterbury, William Temple, who once said this world can be saved from political chaos and collapse by one thing and that is the worship. Of Jesus. So that's kind of the heart behind Worship Centre and what's been really exciting is seeing how this vision has taken root in other countries around the world and particularly in South Africa. Mark Cunahan who heads it up here has done a phenomenal job gathering worship leaders in Cape Town, in Durban, in Johannesburg, Pretoria, all over and uh, today Live at Live is kind of the culmination of some of that ministry, worship leaders coming together and we're hoping that today as we gather and we worship is going to be a significant part in the journey of Worship Central in South Africa, capturing a sound that isn't just Western English, but actually it's the sound of South Africa as well. One of the songs we're going to record today is called Hands Around the World. And uh, it's a really cool story. The Live Choir came and did a tour in the UK and they came to our church in Birmingham. In, in, in England and uh, we had some time with the guys and some of the boys, myself and a colleague Nick Herbert spent an afternoon songwriting and uh, Nick actually had this idea, Hands Around the World and this melody and we sort of took it to the boys and thought how can we get them involved, creating, writing, um, encouraging that and a song that could bring together I guess an English flavour with a South African and uh, the boys just began to write these ideas, some of the words um, you know, restore, rescue are very much words that are profoundly linked to the vision of Live Village. And uh, then there's a tag, um, you'll have to forgive my Zulu, but I think Siambunga, something around those lines, uh, we are loved. And so again, bringing a bit of Zulu into the song. And so recording that with the choir, with a whole bunch of people in this amazing setting, I think it's going to be really, really exciting.
The song Come Holy Spirit is a new song that stirred up very recently, but we couldn't resist including it in tonight's event. What we love about it is, is firstly it was written with my wife. She was playing the most beautiful piano part in the distance in the house and it really just propelled us into a time of worship, which is the second reason that it feels like it's a song that was birthed out of an authentic time of worship. It wasn't us as songwriters sitting down um, looking at a formula, wanting to write a song. It was just a natural outflow, natural prayers, asking the Holy Spirit to come, declaring that His love is alive, that it's winning the fight, it's bringing the orphan home. And we really believe it's powerful when we, when we sing these words. I guess we've learned over and over again that music will stir people, it will excite people, it will unite people. But we know that the Spirit of God is really what's going to change people and shift things in ourselves, shift things in this nation. And that's really what we believe and feel for tonight as well. This is going to shift hearts, it's going to shift this nation. And we just can't wait to declare the truth. Your love is alive. It's breaking the darkness. It's bringing the light to soften the heart. Uh, Mark came to me with uh, the first little bit of the song and he was like, hey bro, there's you know, this idea I have, let's ride on it. And, uh, and that first phrase really just jumped out at me to say, your love is alive. And it just speaks about, you know, just God's love being, being so alive, being so active. And, uh, and so I, I had the privilege of writing the, the chorus of the song, uh, which starts off saying that same thing, your love is alive, but it says it in Zulu, saying, Utando Luako Luyapila. And, uh, and I think it's just so relevant even for where we are as a, as a nation to know that God's love is still alive. Tando, tando, rock, rock. 